Hello there folks and a very Merry Christmas to you all. If you're spending Christmas on your own like me, then Merry Christmas to you especially. Um, yeah, what a weird time. Weird times for all. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to attempt to make Christmas dinner for the first time. Um, so yeah, I normally cook a fair bit every night again. Um, and um, yeah, today Christmas dinner is, is a bit of a challenge because um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not used to cooking, like roasting all the vegetables and all that kind of thing. And um, yeah, kind of preparing all the ingredients and the like. There is more to it than meets the eye. So this is what we've got in store today. So we've got all the ingredients behind me here. I've got the Brussels sprouts. I've got this nice, beef topside joint wrapped in bacon which looks incredible. I'm actually going to do a bit of salmon today as well. I actually I actually missed out on getting a turkey sadly. The turkeys had all gone uh, in Sainsbury's. They were all gone. So yeah all the turkeys were gone so I've got to make do with um, with chicken. Here's the chicken. Here's the chicken. There's no turkey so the chicken is going to have to do. It's a bit of a makeshift uh, Christmas dinner. It's not really a Christmas dinner. It's more like just a random roast. But what can you do, eh? Uh, Christmas is not the same this year. It's just not the same. 2020 Christmas doesn't really count. So it's just kind of make do and just eat whatever you want. I've already got on the Nutella today. Where's the Nutella? Yeah, already got on the Nutella today. So that was breakfast. But let's see how this goes. Let's see how this turns out. It could turn out to be incredible uh, or it could turn out to be a disaster. So the seasoning is what I'm going to put onto the vegetables before putting them in the oven. I literally don't know what I'm doing, I'm just making this up as I go along, but I'm hoping it will taste alright. Um, so yeah, once all the kind of prep for the veg is done, uh, then we'll crack on with the meats, which is the bit which takes a bit of time, but it's less complicated, the meats, from what I gather, because it's just stick it in the oven and hope for the best, isn't it? So that's the uh, the seasoning made here. Uh, all I'm going to do is put a bit of uh, olive oil in that now, and that's going to go on the, the the potatoes and the parsnips. Uh, yeah, I've also just realised that I've left my flipping fridge open the whole time I've been doing this, so that's just like room temperature everything in there. So I'll shut that and then get back at it. But so far, I mean, the seasoning looks alright actually. Yeah, it looks decent. Um, and then after we've done all the seasoning, got the veg going, I think I'll get onto the meats. I don't know, really. Oh, and another thing as well, apparently, um, if you soak the carrots in orange juice and sprinkle them with a bit of sugar, apparently it's the, the lick, apparently. Uh, according to the recipe books. But we're not doing the recipe books, we're doing it my way. Um, but I might do that, actually, I might do that. It sounds like it could be quite nice. realize that you've got to put a bit of this rosemary into the, um, the seasoning as well. So it's time now to get onto the meats because uh, I'm gonna be here all day otherwise. Um, this thing takes about an hour and a half to do. Um, yeah it looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks pretty straightforward you just put it in and let it cook I think so um, yeah. So there we are there's the beef primed and ready to go. So what we're going to do now is this tray here, I'm on the floor, it's got no more space than the surfaces. Um, put olive oil on it, put it in the oven for a bit, uh, preheat it basically and then get all the veg on it. And then, um, yeah, then we should be on the way basically.
sweating now. Uh, yeah, meat potatoes are in now. Um, and just the veg bits to go, I'll put those in a bit later on because I think they'll cook quicker. Uh, I hope they'll cook quicker. I have no idea whether they will or not. So yeah, I reckon about another 45 minutes to go, I reckon. So the chicken's out now. There we are. It's one bit. for the finale. The potatoes, looking good. The beef, that's what we're talking about with the beef. Look at that. Look at that, wow. Honestly, right, it is pretty tasty. It's a little bit burnt on the potatoes, but other than that, so far, so good. Right, so there we go, Christmas dinner is done. This is the end product. What do you think about that, eh? So the beef, I haven't used gravy because I don't like gravy. And also um, the beef is just sublime. Wow, look at the beef. And also the juices from the beef kind of act as the gravy. So the potatoes are, yeah, slightly disappointed with the potatoes because the uh, potatoes are a little bit charred. Um, but yeah, they taste really good though. They taste really good. All that seasoning, uh, I'll put the recipe link, uh, whatever I've used in this evening, seasoning in the notes below. But like, look at that. Nice, crunchy and crisp potatoes. The salmon is a little added touch to it because it's an, uh, you know, an alternative 2020 Christmas this year, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's the salmon. That's why the salmon's in there. And then you've got the, the the chicken, the salt and pepper seasoned chicken with the parsnips and the carrots as well. And the sprouts. Can't forget the sprouts, of course. Cannot forget the sprouts. So there we are. There we have it. Christmas dinner. Solo Christmas dinner 2020. Um, yeah, effort and a half. That's taken me like four hours. Uh, a mixture of seasoning and timing all the bits that go in the whole thing, but yeah, I suppose it's alright actually, quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, relatively easy, once you get the timings of the roasting down, it's not too bad, but it is effort. And anyone who does this every year, you know, whoever you are out there that does this, fair play to you. Um, yeah, whether I do it again next year, well, hopefully we're not in this situation next year, but um, yeah, I don't fancy doing it next year. <laughs> Just effort, isn't it? But yeah, there we are. Solo Christmas dinner for one 2020. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and do all the other bits. Uh, and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for 2021. Bring on 2021. We are on our